everyone it's Kelsey and welcome back to my channel today's video is going to be a big project um, I'm in a big project mode trying to get everything that's like halfway done or kind of messed up or projects I've had on my list for a long time trying to get those done so today I am starting with my closet I've had this stuff to redo my closet for a really long time it hasn't got done I did actually change the way I had planned for it to be done so I had to buy something different and then I've got extra wood now luckily because I bought that wood when it wasn't as expensive now it's really expensive but I'm going to redo my closet the way I'm doing it is relatively inexpensive my closet is broken has been broken probably since six months when we moved into this house which was three years ago so we've been making it work how it is but I'm ready to redo the closet so I've got all the stuff done the board is getting cut hopefully tomorrow but I bought everything um, so today I'm going to try to clear everything out I am going to paint the closet so I'm going to try to take out all the hardware take everything out and then go through all my clothes because I know there's a lot that I feel like I'm in a big declutter big clear out mindset right now and I could just go in and get rid of a lot of clothes so my goal is to go through all those clothes that's not going to be in this video it's going to be a separate video where I go through all my clothes and declutter all of that but I'm going to show you what the closet looks like right now as a before shot and then hopefully it'll be a huge transformation that is cute very inexpensive very inexpensive I have to add at the end how much it actually cost for the whole closet to get redone, but it wasn't a whole ton. So let's go ahead and go to the closet and see what it looks like right now. Because right now it's still a mess. I have not cleaned it. I have not done anything to it. It is a disaster. So here's what we're starting with. Um, originally, this had a rod across the whole thing. So there was two of these rods. And they were very, poor, very, very poorly designed because it broke right down the middle. And then this one, as you can see, is being supported by this because otherwise it would be on the ground. Um, also, it's square. Not sure why that is, but we're going to be taking all this out. Um, and not doing it this way again. I do love this little hook. So this will probably stay because I really do like it. But here is the closet to begin with. It's a decent sized closet. I mean I can stand in here. Let's see. It's like I'm inside the closet. It's a pretty big closet. So hopefully I can just make it functioning and not broken. And make it look better. But first we've got to take everything out. Which I'm not looking forward to. Cause there's a lot to take out. Hoping for a sincere performance, but open to finding the moment, to finding out where I'm headed now. Looking for a sign of disaster. So I can make it there faster I'm weighing the consequences out Here it is all emptied out. Nothing in here other than what needs to be like vacuumed up and this. I think I'm gonna keep the dresser in here, just put it in a different spot. This has like stuff in it that oh, I do need to take all that stuff. Like uh, bathing suits and stuff in here and like random stuff. Probably do need to go ahead and take all that clothes out, but 
other than that, it's cleared out in here. And we're gonna take these down and then, hey, maybe we can even get some painting done today. Maybe, we'll see. Yep, that was the problem. They put this in here without any kind of support. I'd literally just pull those out with my hands. This is actually kind of making me nervous that whenever I go to find stud, there's studs, there's gonna be very few. I'm really hoping there's some studs in this wall because these are just pull, I'm just pulling these straight out. So hopefully it wasn't the fact that they tried to find studs and couldn't find studs because that'll be a problem. cleaning all of them because this house is really old um, it's over 100 years old the closet's not that old but it needed to be wiped down and if it's loud from the air conditioner I apologize it's hot up here I have got to have it on so now I'm gonna go in and patch all these holes and maybe I can actually paint tonight when the kids go to bed maybe hopefully I can get it done but I'm gonna try to get these holes patched before Gideon gets up and that should be Pretty soon, so I gotta get this done. Yeah. 
section in I messed up a big boo-boo and I'm supposed to put this side over here but whatever it is what it is um, I'm gonna have to take some paint and kind of touch up a couple spots anyway so this was very difficult but this is where I'm gonna hang like the like my tall dresses and stuff and then I'm gonna put one here one more here and then the dresser over here Oh my goodness, this is taking so much longer than I planned and we are over a week after I started this project, but all the wood is done. <sighs> Hopefully I can finish this today, even if the rod is not painted. I was going to paint the rod. Not sure if I want to paint the rod because it's raining today and it's not going to dry. I don't know, but this part is done and come to find out there are like barely any studs whatsoever in here. So hopefully these anchors will hold all of this stuff because my gut says it's not going to but there's that part ta -da! one part done here's the closet now i've finished these two sides all of it is done so i'll get the rod from downstairs it is not perfect but it is done and look at all the broken broken pieces yay I had a really, really hard time with this side. This side was easy for some reason. This side was really hard. And I went downstairs and got the little extra shelf I had. I think I'm gonna lay it either down or put it in the corner here. And then we'll put the dresser back in here and get it put together. I really think I wanna paint the rod and then screw it in because it's got a little spot where you can screw them in. But for now, I'm just gonna try to clean it up a little bit and see what it kind of looks like. Oh, I'm excited to be moving on and be done with this, whew, this project. I'm hopeful that it will stay because, yeah, I'm just hoping it stays because it was really, really hard. And I think only this one is in a stud. The rest of them have the anchors. And if there isn't a stud here, the other thing would not go in and the screw did. So that's why that's like that. But. There was literally no way for me to film as I did this with unless you wanted to see a dripping wet sweaty pig that was screaming because that's all that got done here. <laughs> I'm I know you feel it in the nighttime and you've given all your days while they were waiting on the right time. You went and made your wave I don't need reasons to live There's no reason to quit It's all I know So once again, I'm gone with the sun Ta-da! Why they left a gaping hole there to begin with? I'm not sure, but that looks a lot better Trying to count us out, we highly endowed They must not know what's at stake, what we fighting about it's tradition to a wordsmith the missile shooter how my automatic sniper i bet this will do you i give reason and ether to all the line soldiers i'm undefeated my region remains on my shoulders i've cried nights that's only because of highlights i find life and knowing i'm playing mine right wicked crimes from them want to be crowned try to lead me to the deep where i might cunningly drown at times i thought they got me where they wanted me now but like the sun i rise up when i don't want to be down and that's I know you feel it in the nighttime, and you've given all your days while they were waiting on the right time. You went and made your wave. I don't need reasons to live. There's no reason to quit. It's all I know. So once again, I'm gone with the summer. Gone with the summer. They ain't never been out of eye with Satan in the broad daylight Gone left while they all sway right A true maverick, unbothered by what y'all may write A naysayer, slayer, I'm filleting all day light Yeah, we in that upside down, I manage not to sink They keep our eyes wide shut, I manage not to blink Another decade or maybe they not faking Maybe it's more to it, maybe we got taken advantage of <laughs> yes I love the black I was afraid to do the black 
but it looks so good. There's that one. And then there is that one. Oh, that looks so good. I want to figure out a light fixture for here that is black. I'm kind of thinking like a black cage. Oh, I wish this could be black, but it's going to be white. <laughs> I'm not changing that, but it matches the black on there. Oh, that looks so good. I'm so excited. Now I'm going to go in and touch up all these little corners from this terribly cheap board because it's everywhere. But yes. Oh, I like it so much. Either way, the damage is done. The bottom feeders get to eat all them glamorous crumbs. Where all them seekers are truth, the speakers of the youth. We come and go with the summers, keep believing in you. you. I know you feel it in the nighttime. And you've given all your days. While they were waiting on the right time. You went and made your wave. I don't need reasons to live. There's no reason to quit, it's all I know. So once again, I'm gone with the summer. Yeah. Gone with the summer. Yeah, yeah. Once again, I'm gone with the summer. Yeah. I know you feel it in the nighttime. Given all your days While they were waiting on the right time You went and made your wave I don't need reasons to live There's no reason to quit It's all I know So once again, I'm gone with the summer yeah. Gone with the summer Yeah, yeah Once again, I'm gone with the summer closet it has actually been quite a bit since I filmed the original part my closet is done now for over a month but here is the finished closet I love it so much it has been so functional it's been so great I've I'm just glad to have a closet that isn't broken um, but yes it wound up that I finished it a while ago the day I actually finished it it did wind up collapsing so that would be why the video didn't get finished because I was in a very, very, very bad mood with this closet. But we wound up just going in and adding in a support board on the back so that they could all be in the studs and then the screws could go into the wood, if that makes sense. But it wound up, I realized I never said how much my closet redo actually cost. It cost under $120 to do this entire closet redo. Um, I did already have paint that I didn't have to buy. Um, I had all the like screws and all that so I didn't have to buy any of that. So it only cost $120 to finish my closet and I just reuse things I already had. I love my closet so much. Um, I am going to go ahead and end this video. If you did like it, give it a thumbs up and be prepared because there is more getting stuff done happening because it has been really 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 busy over here but if you enjoy this video give it a thumbs up and i'll see you on the next video bye yeah it's all done you went and made your way